So here we are here. Hey. Hey, uh, Your Honor, the Suck Lord. Here we are in uh, New York uh, during the uh, inaugural Windsor Whitney Online inaugural Biennial, Biennial Survey of American and International Art. Um, how are you doing, Mr. Honorable Suck Lord? I think I'll recover. <laughs> <laughs> how is the jurying process, dude? Can I call you dude? You already did. So. <laughs> it wasn't painful? Um, was it pain painful is a strong word. I was a little uncomfortable. I mean, in what way? What made you uncomfortable? Um, it was a little sad, and it made me sad. In what and way also, sad? Well, because I just like there's a lot of earnest efforts there that, in my completely worthless opinion, um, aren't going to go anywhere for anybody. Um, I think I would say that 98% of the people in there have no shot at anything. And uh, and I could be wrong, because what do I know? But uh, it just it seems a little... I'm talking! You're just okay, going to move okay. the camera? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Comment on how bad our organization is. This fucking shitty piece of paper. You didn't even bring paper. You don't even have, like, a tablet or some effective yes, manner some of, cool catalog computer. of cataloging. Like I mean, let's just say, to anybody who entered... This contest that feels like they were unfairly judged, it's quite possibly a clerical error. You could have had the best work in the show, but if she doesn't know which side of the paper is the front, it just has all the twos and ones on it, you know, it's like a tertiary code, um, you might get the short end of the dick. And uh, not that it matters anyway, because all the rewards out of, that you get out of this thing are completely hollow. So, Hollow how? Well, what, what? Winning this thing isn't going to get you anything in the art world or the art career. You get money for this? Do you get fame in the art world? I mean, your whole thing is about being against the art world. So, wow, I won the contest of not fitting into the art world. Great. That's a good contest, actually. I guess. I mean, who's that? Who, who's going to eat off of that? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what people's goals are. I know, I, you know. What if some people well, just want to make art? Let him make it. Doesn't yeah. mean all that you have to inflict it on others. <laughs> Your Honor, the Suck Lord, can I show the studio now? Go ahead. Okay. Continue talking. So what would get you something in the art world? I don't know. I'm not in the art world. I'm in the toy world. What would get you, you know, something in the toy world? A toy. Okay. Toy What's... Art, art. I mean, that's an ongoing debate. Yeah. And Do you think there are? Um, I don't think I'm qualified to answer that question. But, but I think you're making a statement. Who is qualified? I, 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 the grass is green. That's a statement. Was it art? Um, is making statements art? I mean, yeah, fucking, we go to the old age question. Uh, you know, what is art? What are these legs? China Chow legs. Okay, and where's the China Chow heads? In that bag. That's these China Chow. Yeah. Whose heads are these? Who is China Chow, by the way? Bill okay. Power. Yeah, we always wonder who she is. She's, She's like one of the judges uh, on the show. Yeah, yeah, we know that. How but she get how'd she get there other than being good looking? Her father's Mr. Chow. Who, Who's Mr. Chow? He's had a Chinese... Open the Chow restaurant? The guy just died yeah. a few years ago? He's not oh. dead. I think he did die. No, he didn't. No, Mr. he's Chow? not. He's not so dead. how does her father having a restaurant qualify because her to be on an art show? his restaurant served as a sort of salon in yeah. the early 80s for the likes of Warhol and Boston. Yeah. yeah, in the 70s. And she grew up around... And all, the, all these artists used to come and hang out in his restaurant, like... The Harrings and the Warhols. Of the I used to go as a kid. I had no idea. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I think. She's, well, I mean, I read the article. I, I personally think of all years. the three judges up there. She's probably the most qualified to say shit about shit. Who is the least qualified? I don't want to get into this conversation, but um, it, it's irrelevant. But anyway, yeah. people seem to like her as an action figure, and you know, I made these toys as a way to sort of. Uh, absorb the experience of being on, losing on the show, and, uh, whatever, it was an easy, Is everybody, uh, it was an easy gimmicky way to make a buck. Have they made you some money? Yes, they have. Cool. Well, they won, sort of. I always win. Yeah. Even when I lose, I win. <laughs> <laughs> like Even Sean when I'm here. bad, I'm well, good. It's well, Scarface. Still, I mean, I, I would think, yeah, right, wise guy's always right. Even mm -hmm. when he's wrong, he's right. But, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think it would fit into your sort of uh, thesis that um, to have one work of art 
um, and to have been sort of accepted and patted on the back by these so-called experts and authorities is not a winning scenario for someone who's trading on their so-called outside status. In order to maintain that, one has to fail utterly in that world. <laughs> and uh, I have to say, so I did it on purpose. But I have to say, if that's the case, I think you double failed because I think you succeeded, as we were talking about before, more than any other contestant on that foul. Well, isn't, um, isn't double I mean, isn't failing being a winning? judge in the 2012 so. inaugural Windsor Whitney by any old enough of a winning? It's a Prospect. bit of a new low in my life, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, this is what it comes to. It's like I go on this big TV show, and I rub elbows with all these important people, and all my artwork is broadcast to the world for people to, you know, dissect and analyze, and of all the rewards that could come to somebody in that position, I get this. Well, so. we came down the Fu Wong for you. That's an honor. Yeah, yeah. Well, hello, <laughs> and you we brought, brought you a You bought me a six-pack of beer Lao and gave me a hundred bucks. Yes. That's pretty good. Show the hundred dollar bill, it's, and it's we we we, <laughs> we also brought you two six packs of Czech beer. Not bad. Next time you have to bring me some weed to smoke too. Okay, that's fair. That? Fair. It's yeah. a deal. Why we'll do some weed for you on Friday? It's Why a don't deal. you do this? You come back with another six pack and a nice little piece of dope for me to smoke, and I'll judge all your late entries. How about that? That sounds not bad Can at all. We're going away tomorrow. I didn't say tomorrow. Like I do it Maybe before next the week. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll when do, do you have to announce the winner? Um, that's an interesting question. More you will don't be even discussed. Know? Yeah. No, no, no. Um, we've raised uh, a lack People's of organization and technical skills to an aesthetic. It's an art. It's sort of an art school thing. Yeah, it's we're recontextualizing yeah, it's like it. Yeah, it's a sort of, of gesture of. drawing of being organized. Exactly. Okay. You got it, dude. You got us. You got it. You so, pretend to not get us, but you got us. Double failing twice means winning, and you said you had to fail to win, so that means you won. I actually think of any contestant ever um, when they hey, hey, ran hey, out and said, paint now, paint now, sculpt now, oh. do this, run, you, boy. You I think you're the only we'll person winning. winning. Where's winning? Huh? Oh, see, that would be, be interesting filmmaking. And what about the fucking winning? Yeah. Um, this person? Yeah. Who is this person? It's fucking Gandalf. Yeah. Gandalf. Don't you watch work of art, the next yeah. great artist? I recognize um, it. Yeah, but the stuff that's sort of this... You know, um, I don't know. That's not my thing. That was the first, uh, that was the first one. That was my the first challenge. Boys do that. You what? didn't catch the... F no, Anna didn't catch the first one. She didn't know the show was on that week. Oh, I see. Yeah, he that's saved it. me. <laughs> no, it's true. I that's, remember that's that episode what, is one of the best. The next day I called her and I was like, Anna, did you see that? She's like, oh my God, John. Are you guys married? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, yes. Sort of. I'm her gay sister. husband. Yeah. We're in an Your open, plural relationship. Yeah, she's my sister wife number one. I get it. I'm always the first one. Always. Like, when we're dividing up the days of the week, I pick first. Okay. I get him when he's fresh. Okay. Other women come and go, but he takes a shower my day. Okay. Well, and if quite you want a, me to. Quite a prize he <laughs> is. Give me a, few, give me a minute to visualize that in my mind. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yes, we're married. So what's your relationship status? In a spiritual since sense. Since you brought it up. <laughs> huh? What's your you relationship status? I have a girlfriend, yeah. yeah. I hear she's hot. Yeah, she is hot. Who told you that? I think you did on the show. And uh, actually, several people on Internet Land Sense have said she's hotter than that one that wanted you on the show. Yeah, that's definitely true. Definitely true? Yeah. Who was her mother? So you never... Married to Robert De Niro or something, Fuck if I know. You never yeah. followed up with that one that wanted you on the show? I'm in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, that's a good diplomatic that answer. That was TV. I'm in a relationship and, you know... I like to just keep things peaceful in the ha at home. Happy know, wife, happy life. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I had an answer right. said it doesn't matter where you get your appetite as long as you eat at home. Absolutely. Okay. Um, that sounds fairly uh, gross. So, well, well, it's a good compromise, I suppose. Yeah. So, uh, Your Honor, the Suck Lord, you're coming to our glittering champagne reception yeah, on you March second. Fifty dollars. Yes, <laughs> yes. You come through the door, you get your fifty dollars. Yes, okay. this is a, a heartfelt artistic collaboration. Yes, it's it's. I have it. I have it in my day planner. All right. My day runner. And you see that His Honor, the Suck Lord, has biennial project huh? materials around his studio. Just send me the address. Where is it? Uh, I think 491 right? Broadway, Art Connects, uh, New York, well, Splattered Columns Broadway, right? Gallery. 491 Broadway. You see? 491 Broadway. 
the opening of the Windsor Whitney Online Biennial, March 2nd. Be there. Yeah, we have an infomercial.